Michelle and I have been preparing all day long. The First Lady has been studying up on the guests. I spent the last two hours patting myself down. <laughs> so I'm ready. I think she's ready. So please welcome my co-host for the day, the First Lady, Michelle Obama. <laughs> And uh, you know you're gonna have to squat a little bit because you're too tall. Bit. All right, and uh, you watch my show every day, so I'm pretty sure you know what happens next. Do this. <laughs> and now, the First Lady of the United States and the First Lady of Daytime Television shall dance. We shall dance! I'm so glad you're here, and uh, so you came in a huge motorcade. Where did y'all park? Oh, we parked right out front. You parked in front? Yeah. Oh, Michelle, you should have asked me. No, you can't park there after 3 o'clock. <laughs> Can we, do we have a security camera to see what's happening there? <laughs> so, well, they're That's there. That's us. Everything That's looks y'all. good. Oh, you're getting a ticket. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, you get it. What are you going to miss the most about it? I know you're looking forward to, like you said, yeah. rolling a window down and walking and yeah, doing yeah. things that you haven't been able to do, but what are you going to miss? It's, re it's really the people. Um, you know, think about it. The girls have grown up in the White House. I mean, the, the staff that's there, we see them every day. These are people who have helped us raise our kids. They've loved us. They've taken care of us. And the minute we leave, that's, that's it. So it, it's really the people that we'll miss most. And I'm sure the girls will have a tough time. And they, they think they're ready. But when you've grown up in a place, I mean, imagine, they, they won't be able to just knock on the door and say, can I see my room? You know, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to have them step back and really appreciate the walk on the South Lawn, sitting on the Truman balcony. I mean, so I, I, we just want to keep creating some memories for them as well. Yeah, I mean, because uh, talk about not having perspective. They, they really have grown yeah, up yeah. and gotten used to that. Mm -hmm. And what an amazing experience they've had. That's, yeah, that's yeah. incredible. I'm proud of them. They really manage this so well. I mean, you know, I, I, I just love them to death. And the big thing I've always worried about was making sure that they got out of this hole. And I'm just proud that they're poised, smart, intelligent young women. They are. So. I met them uh, eight years ago when you brought them here to see the Jonas Brothers, and uh, that was right. the first yeah. time that I met you and, and, right. and the outside. girls outside. Yeah. And then I uh, got uh, that picture in my dressing room. Oh, do you? That's, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's amazing when you look at how long ago that yeah. was. And then, of course, I know them a little bit now, and they just are. It's hard enough to raise mm -hmm. children, period, yeah. but to raise children in in front of everyone and in the White House, and they they have done. Uh, you've done an amazing job. Do you feel like? and I'm sure you did feel pressure to be the first African-American first lady to, to, like, there's some kind of responsibility or? Well, one of the things I know from sitting in this position that every first lady feels some level of pressure. I mean, this is a big platform and you don't want to mess it up. Uh, so I wouldn't dare to uh, compare my experience to any former first lady, but I do take the role seriously. I do, as I said in my convention speech, I know that kids are watching us. They're watching what we say, what we do, and Barack and I have tried to make sure that what kids are seeing or something is something that they can be proud of because it, it matters. Well, you have accomplished that. You have accomplished that, and I know you know that, but uh, you should feel very proud. Both Thanks. of you should feel very proud. I mean, you, uh, like I said, we will miss you so much because it has been 
a, a joy, and, uh, and I feel proud to call you a well, friend. Well, it, it has been an honor. I mean, an honor. And I, you know, I, I wasn't the political spouse. <laughs> I was very hesitant about this, but it's truly been an honor to serve, to travel this country, to meet so many great people. I have so much hope for this nation, and I hope that everybody else does too. We have some great young people. We've got great communities. I just w wish everyone ha had the opportunity to travel the country like we have had, because you would feel good every day about where we live. This is the best country on earth.